All right, let's see. Is this going to throw a fit? I really hope this capture card does not make me... Uh, oh, I guess I should update the stream too if I'm changing games. Okay, cool. Sometimes when I just switch the HDMI like that, the capture card throws a fit for like no reason. Okay. Sound is going crazy. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Uh, let me turn some stuff down. I might actually turn myself down a notch. Buzzing noise, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna, let me hear it on. There may be some double. Oh, I see. There is a weird buzz. Uh, I will go ahead and crank that PlayStation down. Okay, so let me just update the... Here, I can probably just start the game up while this... While I adjust this. Okay. Okay, I think I fixed that. And let's see. Hopefully, whatever is going on with the audio was just on my home screen. Okay, that's good. Okay, it's taken a minute to load, but we'll give it Okay, let me just, yeah, I think, oh yeah, let's take copyrighted music out of there. Uh, and then I will leave the rest of that as is. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. I usually like to play very charismatic. Like I like whenever games give me an option to talk instead of fight, I usually like to go for that. So I think I'm just gonna go for sensitive here. 
rather than try to build my own character for now. Ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. Okay, the static is back. Um. Ooh, what do I want to try to do about that? Um. Let me see. Will Google tell me the answer to this problem in five seconds or less? Oh, that's all right. I have, I have not noticed. You're good. Uh, let's see. Um, right now, uh, I don't take donations just because, uh, mm. yeah, I guess, yeah, right now I don't really take donations, uh, or at least... I, as far as I know, I haven't set anything up, uh, but the main thing for me is I'm still trying to get to affiliate, so honestly, uh, promoting my stream places helps a lot and is, uh, is appreciated. I mean, I appreciate the gesture of wanting to donate, though. Let's see. Okay, this is apparently an issue with OBS specifically. Wow, that is... Let me see, is there like an audio thing here? Yeah, uh... 
OBS. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Static is gone for the moment. Okay, I will just roll with that then and hopefully it stays good. Yes, it is. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful ball of meat surrounding you this is a terrible line of questioning and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing this is a very interesting uh, ex intro ex tenderness it is foolish of you to resurface to the loss not after all the damage you suffered to get here some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic zone. Do you really? You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Fear and apprehension. You should ask us out there first. As much as I love the third response, There's I feel like I there. don't know anything about this game. I should ask late. questions about the world. And the evil apes are juking it out on the board. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on Thank a you. giant ball. Thank you so much. Infinitesimally small. You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Time for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. You lost. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of an introduction. Okay, yeah, I can do that. So we got our pants. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, this is all very overwhelming. Okay, we're already wearing those pants. Okay, what is this little thing 
above my head. Okay, maybe checking the controls would be good. Okay, so highlight, interact, move. Okay. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Okay. So, I guess if I were a stronger character, I could just grab the tie without stopping the fan. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Okay, let's grab the tie. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Uh, so let's pull a on the light bulb. Mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Is the narration in okay volume though? Like you can hear what the prompts are? It's just a little hangover induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Little black spots dance on your retinas. It's almost pleasurable. Ooh, the new Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Oh, okay, so we have It says keys. whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Tad bit higher. Okay, so let me... Uh, so they're not saying anything right now, but let's see how it sounds next time I try to pick something up or something. <laughs> above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. How's that one? Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and okay. even the world you're in, has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Uh... Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness, 
It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. It's not. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Oh, and I guess I, I keep forgetting to read out responses, so I'm going to wipe the mirror Behold, now. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Uh... I think it might be because Please I'm a stop. superstar. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. Can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Wow, these options. This is like the tutorial, right? Uh... God, I don't know. It's indescribable. You check yourself for a pulse. Because from here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Sure, I'll check for a pulse. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. So both of these have a very low chance of success. Let's just let the mirror be. Is there like a I didn't see. Is there like a sprint button? Nope, that is just the speed I move at right now. Okay. Ooh, I got my left foot shoe. There should be a right shoe, right? Somewhere? Okay, yeah, I'll try to be better about that. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Okay. The window stands broken in its frame. So... I guess assess the damage? What See do you what's mean? wrong with the window? Assess the damage. How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? Okay, look out. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Okay, so it looks like options lock if you uh, mess them up. Okay, can I find the other shoe that I am apparently missing? I assume because I only found the... Uh, Yeah, RPGs are a little trickier to stream. Uh, I'm usually better about this when I play Persona, because I've played Persona so many times that it's like... I know those games like the back of my hand, but it's definitely different trying to do Hello, this one like officer. as I'm figuring it out. Okay, so it's March, the year is 51. I assume that's like 2051 or something. Or maybe it is 1951. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Yeah, I guess. Am I a police officer? Uh, no. Okay. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Oh, man. <laughs> 
I mean, I feel like the second one's like the straightforward question that'll tell us something about our character. But I like the idea of this first option. So wait, I know I'm a businessman, chief the executive young woman officer. Shakes right? her head slowly. So chief technical no, officer. You're a police officer, sir. Uh, are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. You've been here for three days. All this time? On official police business, no less. Uh, I've been streaming for over a year now. Uh, let's see. A year and about three months. I started in March of 2020. What business was I, I on? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. See you. So why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Uh, I could try the expression on her. Uh, I mean, it's got a pretty low success rate, so I think I'll just say, don't who be would so let me be an yourself. officer of the law? They let almost anyone be a police officer. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Uh. A fondness for contradictory Actually, yeah, statements. I can see why they wouldn't trust me with the law. I have the right character. A fondness for contradictory statements. <laughs> yeah, what you just said, I can't I come up with anything. Glib. I'm sure you're a great cop. No, she's not. Reassert yourself by being flirtatious. Uh, that's... Uh, that feels like a very bad idea, but sure, let's try. The words have already left your mouth. Uh... I want to do things with you. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said... <laughs> Come on, man, pretty... Don't back down now. Say what you said again, proudly. Goddamn right. I you said did. I want to. Crazy asshole, you. What kind of cop are you? Uh, I mean, superstar okay. cop. It's been That's established. Cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on that superstardom a tiny bit. Uh. I mean, I'm liking all these, like, kind of jokey answers. Uh, it means I'm a bloated old drunk. Oh, thank you. Bloated old drunk with sideburns and disco pants. If I don't have a joke up my sleeve, it's on me. I have certainly been entertained. Thank you. Whatever you are, you should stick to it. Otherwise. Thank you, yeah. Uh... It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. That's good. I'm glad you're having fun. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Okay. Okay, so I can't go in there yet. Ooh, what are those? Money. Oh. Yeah, I mean, for picking the, like, 
charismatic class. Uh, I don't think he comes across very charismatically. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying it, but... Okay, so I'm actually going to head back in there because I want to see what else is in there before I go out into the world. Like, I'd like to try to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. something on the table. Interesting. What? What was that? You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. Ah. Uh, Who am I a smoker? What you are. A monster. A murderer, the gnome of Jeroma, you feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub still smoldering deliciously. But she broke the filter, broke it at the filter. I How can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that, a carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able. The idea seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. Is the tie talking to me? Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Did I, like, pick a character with multiple personalities? What's going on? So I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. I should not not do that. I'll make it priority one. I'll think about it. I think I should enthusiastically Good. do that. They'll make you stronger and better. You're too old to be cool now. But find cigarettes. Smoke them. Blam. Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Plus... Smoking them gives massive bonuses. Massive bonuses? <laughs> um, I try not to give out my, like, exact location, uh, but I live in Illinois, like the Midwest, you know, generally. So I need to go find smokes. We have found our quest. Okay, so I actually have to click the stairs. Okay, so I can sleep after a certain time of day. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Uh... My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. No, I think I think he's got an immense soul. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system. Yeah. By other people. Oh, hello, all the way in Norway. Wow. Whether they like it or not, ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland violently express yourself Ooh 
This goes well with a theory I'm developing, that I'm a down-on-my-luck superstar Who person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. Yeah, I guess I hope you're having a good time all the way in Norway. What time is it over there? Because it's like, I'd say like mid-evening my time. You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Oh, wow. Oh, it right. is. That's early, late. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Right, Lamentation. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge. Yeah, Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul Serves with that. right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Okay. So I need to find a tragic song to sing. behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he is purposely ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. Uh, I sense you're not a fan of mine. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero. Now I can tell he's being sarcastic, but I enjoy... Uh, uh, I'm a little younger. I'm... Uh, oh, how old am I? Uh, 24. <laughs> I'm 24. What was I saying? I like the idea of playing this character just totally straight, cannot read sarcasm. So not only am I a cop, yes, but I'm you also are a hero. A real decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First you took oh, the that's body cool. down, then you solved the murder, then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Uh Oh my god, I did all those things? No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing, then? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. Oh, happy I'm birthday, Plastic. Here. Uh, let's look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Uh, what happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Uh, I'm a cop and I talk to whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. You're welcome, Plastic. Uh, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Uh, you look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a Thank counter you. is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. 
What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Uh, where did this Sylvie go? She just, you know. There's something there, and it's not good. That's all you know for now. Okay, so I guess we'll leave. Menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Ooh, healing item. Soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Okay. He said there was someone in like a bomber jacket by the door, right? Would it be this guy? A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Why would I be sure of this? I guess... Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half-brother. Oh, he's my half-brother. Sure, I'll shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Okay. Ooh. I have a low score to conceptualizing, but the opportunity to make up my own name is too fun to pass up. So let's try. Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. It's so cool. <laughs> you instinctively run your hand over your multi-patterned orange tie. The sensation of wrinkled silk somehow makes the name sound even cooler. More classy! Raphael Ambrosius Gusto is one classy name, and you're one classy cop. Wait, who said that? Uh, my name is Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. Yes, well... <laughs> it looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll say you mean him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Uh, yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> right. And the interviews? Uh, what interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Uh, I'll say I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh... Dead body? Mm-hmm. Uh... I'll just go ahead and say no. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. 
We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. But first, we have to take it down. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Uh, Inspectorate General? Internal Affairs. And I'm not them. I'm from Criminal Investigation. You said insignia? These white rectangles, you mean? Yes. But they're just white rectangles. They are not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh... <laughs> I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. But I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. A painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that. So cigarettes will have to do. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay, so he's in my party. And then let's talk to cafeteria guy again. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Precinct 41... Oh, man. <laughs> Do I commit to the bit of the bad name? Or... The Harbinger of Ruin is fun, though. Now let's commit to the bit. As I said, Detective Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. 
Yes. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. This is the second time you've avoided the subject. Oh my god, what is your obsession with this Sylvie person? Get over it. Maybe it's he who's obsessed with this Sylvie person. Certainly sounds like it. Uh, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Oh, thank you. Suddenly he tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard, the prey drive says. Did you kill him? No, I didn't. You can tell me, Gart. You killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His expression unreadable. Did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't Thank killed you. anyone. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. Uh, it was worth a shot. Let's go. Okay, task complete. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! No, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. Aw, oh, man. What's real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me oh, 130 real. The IIR, or Inter-Isolary Real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. By real, do you mean some form of street cred? No, you don't owe me street cred. You owe me money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Did I just hear my Thai speak to me No twice? one is saying that! No one is saying that Thai can talk! That would be ludicrous! It's just that you should arrest him! It would be wiser! He wants to take your money! Uh, let's see. Great advice, I'm considering it. The lieutenant looks at you tugging on your garish tie. He puts his- If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. Uh... But what exactly is money? What are you, a philosopher? Actually, I might be. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or... Or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Interesting. Where do I get it from? <laughs> Are you serious? From your work, 
I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't think cops can take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Why do I need it? <sighs> For survival, to pay me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez, and it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. I'm not an asshole. Uh... Proceed, but don't show him the coins. They're There's yours. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. Uh, I mean, what do I owe this place for? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but... We'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any- Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Uh... I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry, I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Good luck. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Do I even but have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Up on Marble Hill? Why did Hill? you say that? Uh... No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One of these... That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. F everything. Entertain hobo the cop. thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. Okay, so like... What does all of this mean? Okay, so I can like investigate stuff, I guess. Hobo cop. Let's see, a cop and a hobo, a hobo cop. Upsides can be disheveled, doesn't have to wash, carries himself with lurched gusto. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again, never again hear you're drunk. Why did you even come here? Go home. Yeah, let's go ahead and internalize hobo cop. <laughs> And then I guess also... Uh, let's go ahead and like pursue the main quest, I guess. I mean, I don't know how main of a main quest it is, but... I'll do the thing I'm apparently here for. And yeah, I guess... It, it is a wall of text. There is a lot of text going on 
in those menus. These load screens are a little long for what I would usually expect from an indie game, but I think it's all right. Is that my shoe up there? Is that the shoe I've been missing? Uh, I should probably go get that, huh? <laughs> Come on, select the door. There we go. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to sit through another loading screen. Yeah, I mean, I'm having a great time with this. I think maybe I've, I've picked the character build that might not be the most recommended for a first playthrough, but I'm enjoying it. You know, I have no idea what is supposed to actually be happening, but... Let's get that shoe. The sea makes me dizzy. Gr a gust of briny wind washes over me. There we go. Green snake skin There shoe. they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Ooh, secret task. There they both are. Two identical... Wait, these don't look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Cool. So I recovered some morale? Uh, just water. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. I do actually usually make like decaf or some tea, or I will very occasionally drink on stream. But uh, today, it's just good old water. Who are you? 
Hello, sweetie. Uh, that's actually a good question. Uh, I do love a good green tea. I'd say herbal teas in general, pretty good. The cryptozoologist, the cryptozoologist's wife. Okay, Wait, so there's a cryptozoologist. Does that mean you like me? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chamomile is very good. That silly dimple on your chin. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married. Besides, in another time and place, she might have flirted back, but that ship sailed long ago. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley Crew. Hire her on the spot. Ooh. How'd you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. I know, I know, but there's also side mysteries. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. Why? Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Perhaps another time. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing yes, or anything. Officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't there be There has bad. to be some way to get her on my team. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. Oh my. You know where we are, right? We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. Now, now. We are alive in a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, and the Whirling itself is in the city of Revishol. Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revishal. What kind of place is this? How would I even begin to tell you? Revishal is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishal is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Uh, it's the spring of 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Ooh, I got an eight pen. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Uh, let's see. Democracy, dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Fierce warriors. 
Intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. Radios are being used to control people's minds and to distort our perception of reality. Cop. We are living under the cop regime. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Actually, we are not. You could say that about almost any- Damn it. I was really hoping it would be a cop world. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, I mean, my personal politics definitely lean more towards answer to here but let's go with the vague some kind of democracy nope. sadly not revishal is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the coalition we have no government of our own and what democracy we have is market driven uh if there's no government, how come there are oh, cops? Dear. And you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Rivishal, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Uh, what is the revolution? A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. But I'm a cop. Whatever it was hasn't stopped me. Of course, sweetie. I, I really don't know how to explain it better. I'm just the poor woman she thinks what do i know of these things and how can i help you so how did i do you were doing quite well up until the end there it does look like you're having trouble remembering things history and places remembering reality in a word it's very odd a sigh but maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs and while i'm no doctor such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I, I wouldn't worry too much. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Someone more educated. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. So I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Of course, the Okay. So now I have a quest to get in a reality lowdown. <laughs> so now let's go do the the thing where we take the body out of the tree. <laughs> The thing we probably should have done forever ago. I haven't given up on getting her on my team, though. We just need to rethink the strategy. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Oh, hello. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. 
The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. Gamble. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let it out. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Effing corpse. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. What is this? Why is Active it so bad? Decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! So... See what's in here. We got magnesium and money. Kuno's got this. Oh yeah, not a goofy Kuno. Uh, yeah, hey kid, a word, right police dick, business. Get him right in the dick. Love it in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what I now? mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. Kuno's riding at sea. The rake, Kuno. You should throw the rake. The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. Fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. Look, I have questions All for right. you. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The body, what do you know shit, about it? Pig. Watch your Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Uh Pig's choking. He's totally choking. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Do you know how Probably it got up clan. there? Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. 
So you didn't see it happening. You had Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Oh, okay. Where did you go then? <laughs> I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck gimp. Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Just a couple around? of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. More on this later. Your test and Kuno's pay. Get lost. Okay, I'm off. Ooh. Can we investigate the trash? This trash container is locked. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Lieutenant, what do you think could be in there? Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence too. Then we should open it immediately. Mm hmm How do I how do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage or Or Lieutenant. Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. Okay. Let's see, they said... Okay, so there's a bunch of books here. This is a bookstore. We'll try to get the key to the trash from the cafeteria manager. As much as I enjoy just wandering around, getting into dialogues with people. It would probably be a good idea to try to actually complete some of the tasks I've been piling up. It's the trash container out back I, yours. No, it belongs to... Thank you for clearing that up. What? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous 
doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. What if I told you I am a hobo? Or soon to be one. Okay, so I could give the the righteous answer or the funny answer. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this one. What if I told you that I am a hobo? Yes. But I need those leftovers to survive. Sir, I'm sorry the RCM is having financial trouble, but it's not this establishment's problem. Oh, I mean, if I can give both answers, then yeah, doesn't it seem callous? Callous? What are you, Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. We need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the keys. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. By the way, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Ab you wait and see, cafeteria manager. Absolutely in the question. Goodbye. Talk with everyone. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, let's... First, I'm going to open up that trash and then talk to people. I hear fireworks going off outside. Wow, it does take a while to load. Uh... Between the inside and outside area, I guess. This trash container is locked. Open the padlock. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Didn't I just have a premonition that there's something in there? There is, but you won't like it. Sweat forms on your brow. Your hand is still on the lid. Open the The lid. smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Dig in hobo cop style for extra wow. content. An armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. What's a knock cannon? It's a giant rifle and it's very expensive. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels, however. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. I am into hi-fi. That's too bad, because none of those things are actually in there. There's just food waste and crisp wrappings. A cruel jest. There must be something. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. An antique? Only in its social sensibility. Take the mud. Mm -hmm. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Okay. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below, and turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Among the What's threat, their kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers, 
Yeah, As the legs denim. of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse. The victim's clothes? Cadaverine odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Bag the trousers. Guitar mark blue jeans. Pockets. Empty. Or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... The belt is missing. Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Bag the shirt. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. That's all I think. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. You think someone from the Whirling may have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. The fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? Okay. Well, let's also search it's the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, nothing. It's n What's this? What? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. It's something out. larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? I don't know what this is. It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? Uh, it has a foreboding quality to it. What are you talking about? I speaketh the tongue. Do as though also thorough inventories. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Uh, okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what... Some items, such as the ledger you found, are in... Okay. The Let's container start. sounds a muffled gong. Okay, so we should probably read all the stuff we just got. That's why. I don't know what... All this stuff does. Oops. Oh, I mean, as long as we're here. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. There's actually quite a lot to read. Look at all that oh content. Oh boy, here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? Uh... This mug is an example of prejudice. I'm going to use it as an example of what not to do. I'm going to push this in the face of every merchant I find and tell them this is your inane ideology. This mug will be useful by denouncing it. I can earn political capital to mask my badass hustling. 
Uh, I'm going to push it in the face of so every again, merchant I find. You dug it out of the trash. Why? It wasn't going to offend anyone there. Why don't you... It's just a racist mug. What's there to... I want to get but into that mug talk. It will not again. happen. The mug talk. Okay, fine. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. It's a metaphor for you. Below the pathetics, terror. Do not look into its blue heart. Uh, let's see. Inspect the toilet it's paper. It's just toilet paper. Stick into the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. Uh, take it off. Still wet, the toilet paper peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off with your finger and voila. The ledger now looks marginally better. Inspect the clip. An aluminium block runs the width of the board, biting down on the paperwork. Its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Run your finger across the The surface the is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. Lieutenant, is this one of your hologram watermarks? What? Yes, uh, allogen watermark used for adding information to RCM property. Interesting. What kind of information? It depends. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. How many years you've been on the force, he's thinking. It'll have that. How can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. All RCM vehicles have headlights designed to reveal a lot. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Okay. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand, it's a sorry sight. White They're paper. not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines, forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. What's in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of oh. investigations dating back to January 51. I guess I mainly this just year. stream for fun. Like, is hard to estimate I like playing games. Pages it's an a opportunity to play games. But there are at least 20, uh, maybe 30 I mean, I'd love undertaken, to get, completed, mind you know, super popular and do this for money but i'm just happy to sit and play games and talk to people uh let's see yes it appears you employ a shall we say robust yet literary system each investigation has its case number written on the margins yet Still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. Oh my, and they're written in capital letters yes, too. Yes, all caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Another yet, the Unsolvable Case. More. Others appear more light-hearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location and the murder at the hookah parlor. Even the rare article free collapsing tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. You like this grimy murdering, don't you? It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done. 
once you're done inspecting them up close. Uh, Kim, my cases you appear to have some kind Merrick, of naming convention. Officer, precinct, time of arrival at the scene. Uh, yeah, let's lie. Good. That's a good one. But do you also use the titular? Well, so do I. In our defense, officer, almost everyone in the RCM does. Why is that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM. Right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. I seem to have a case named the Square Bullet Hole Again, Murders. in your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that to amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. What happened to him? Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. Count the pages. There is, for precisely one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Commit to paper the using tasks the you've pen completed Lena gave flow you. out of the kind green ape pen in a brash freehand similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. Cross out the ones you've already finished. A satisfying finished. slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, and you. Things to be done, and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. No, actually. Any ideas? Uh, how about the hanged man? Great. That's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. The hanged man. Good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. I'm going to start calling it the hanged man. It's good to be sorted this out. Ooh, new skill point. Done inspection. You don't exactly close them so much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. Yes, you can Ooh. piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. It always begins with HDB 41, then date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB 411201170, the next world mural. What does Why, yes, precinct? your precinct number is 41. An HDB. Every last alphanumeric in the files begins with it. And these are your case files. It's safe to say HDB are your initials. I think what you meant to say was RAC, Raphael Ambrosius Castell. No, the alphanumeric begins with HDB. Good. How long does it take to read one of these Raphael stamped cases? Fine. It takes about half an hour for you to piece one together. Mr. Raphael, which one do you want? The next world mural. This one is relatively easy to reconstruct. Overnight on 1202, a graffito, nay, a mural, appears on an eight story tenement overlooking Central Jamrock. The building is a sparsely inhabited ghost tower part of a failed real estate development called Grand Coudon. The mural is enormous. Two silhouettes, a man and a woman, are kissing. The text cut into their form reads, True love is possible only in the next world. For new people, it is too late for us. Wreak havoc on the middle class. People call it that thing and that fucking thing. It's visible for miles. 
In two days, the station's complaints desk gets clogged with requests to remove the bummer. You and your partner are assigned to the case. The Graffito crew is easy to track down. Only the Bell Lectures have the literage of industrial paint to cover the surface. One of the Graffito artists is rumored to be rich. They take responsibility for the execution, but not the design. Mm. The ideologue of the next world mural, as the crew calls it, remains an unknown. Wait, do I ever find out who came The case up files do not show you finding the author of the design. Okay, read on. The crew agrees to clean up after themselves. However, your partner, JV, is against the removal, citing public support for conservation. This leads to a debate in Precinct 41, which then spreads to the streets of Jamrock, ending in a rare plebiscite organized by you and the rest of Row 3. The 9,000 people subjected to the mural's message, all of Lakeside, Central Jamrock, and Villa Lobos, plus half of the eminent domain, participate in the vote. Although the case begins with what appears to be a lot of rambling on the streets as to how juvenile and stupid the mural is, given a choice between two options. Remove the mural, it's wrong. A staggering 78% of voters choose to keep it. Turns out the opposition were a loud minority. And that love truly is possible in the next world for new people. And it is too late for us. All that remains is to wreak havoc in on the any middle case, class. It appears to have been a rare case of civil activity in the quarter. And agreement as well. What do you want to tackle next? Uh, I can revisit Not this. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clip. Let's check the yellow In papers. the back, you see thin, translucent copy of paper. Some neon yellow. Some bright red. All covered in boxes. Like three. The topmost are misconduct fines. The middle ones are station calls. And the bottommost are field autopsy forms. Each is easy enough to make sense of. Uh, Okay. Uh, misconduct. A monetary fine. penalization ranging from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for 1,000 real, but that requires special paperwork. The details of issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. Station. These call. are quite sinister in turn. They give a date and time for the person to appear at the specified precinct police station. Below the call are the criminal charges you risk by not appearing. Field a dozen autopsy. pages of thin copy paper, bright red in color. You see the parameters of a deceased human form waiting to be filled in. Age, sex, condition of internal organs, color of the irises, predation marks, condition of sexual organs. Enough yes, all that remains now is to fill those forms and hand them to people. Find what delicious power hid within this pathetic mess. The rest of the stinking cellulose is much worse for wear. Being sandwiched between the board and the rest of the paperwork must have spared the fragile copier paper. Uh, look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue plastic, hard enough to beat someone to submission with. The edges are rounded, however. The U4 size board feels thick and heavy in your hand. Light shimmers on its wet surface. On the back, you see the embossed letters RCM. Blue. It's blue. The blue heart. Don't look into it. Shake the ledger. Something rattles inside, ever so light. The plastic shimmers like lapis lazuli, but it is not see through. You cannot see to its center. How would I open With it? With your hands. You four sized pages hang from the clip screwed to the top of the board. Okay. I mean, I've got an even chance of doing this. It's right? not what you end up doing. You squeeze the plastic to slide it open, 
but nothing happened. A hot flash of rage comes over you for a moment there before it recedes. It's unjust, that's why. You can't even get to that thing anymore. The ledger quivers in your hand as it shakes the pages rustle. This pathetic mess suddenly afraid of you for some. The acidic no stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the okay. cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. Put the ledger away. Okay, we did a lot of stuff there. Oh. Hey. Psst. Look around. Psst. Hey, you. Who, yes, me? you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. Should we just stop building love, too? Can't argue so, with that. what about all that communism you've promised to build? Word on the street is, you've woken up from a thousand years of slumber, promising to erect a version of communism, many times greater than any attempted before. You How keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impale all people who have more than 25 real in their pocket. Literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. Oh, that right, that kind of sounds stuff. like me. Funky style. Very funky. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Roll up your sleeves and start oh, building yeah. communism. Get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, what? Firing squads? You Too didn't say anything back about out those. Now. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few million eggs. Hold on. We got some kind of economic policy? Uh... You know what? This one seems very fun to level up. So let's just do that. Okay, so... All that. How do I... Oh, I see. I have to let that uh, first one finish. Oh, hello. There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Exact count? What do you think you are? A super detective? You're hungover. These are heavy workers' boots with reinforced toe. Heavy workers' kind of... boots with... Oh, okay. you rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters washing the filth away the spring thaw must be here the snow is melting what am i looking doing? up at the sky cold water dripping from your hair what do i see? gray sky like great battleships clouds colliding with one another rain falls down on the world how does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. The cold finds its way in. What's in the West? Sheets of rain over the water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Mar. The ruins of a half-sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet. Beyond the Bay of Revachol, ghosts rise into the sky. The skyscrapers of La Delta, the financial district. Will you ever go there? Will I? No, you are just one of the hundreds of thousands who watch them rise across the bay from Martinez every what is down urban the coastline. 
Rain dripping off Etonite covered roofs. Cinder blocks. It's interesting. It seems like you spend a lot of time just talking to yourself in this game. Research. And Coal that. City. End of all lines. Fingers Your hair damp and is hair. an oily mess flecked with ash from neighboring coal plants. Smoke. The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. Behind the gates, heaps of supply crates, red and blue metal shipping containers, slick with rain. The Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor is an artificial mountain range. Immense wealth resides within, and immeasurable poverty in its shadow. La Drissienne, King Dries Passenger Harbor. Cruise ships flanked by dock arms. Cranes watching over the mouth of the river distributary. Kudon, the lower middle class. Distributary after distributary cuts the city blocks in half. Seven the a silvery curtain of rain over the houses. The class divide. Capeside apartments. Tower blocks crowd one another. 4.46 millimeter bullets still lodged in their war-torn stone walls. Hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Clothes, a yard, here. rain falls onto the roof of a woodshed. Coal leaks into a puddle beneath a dead man's feet. He swings from a, a traffic house? jam. Rain thrumming on the roofs of motor vehicles. Inside, drivers watch water. What's on the, the road other side? ascends. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping through, but loops above the ghetto. Uh, Beneath its concrete columns, a sea of rooftops. I'll be honest, I'm getting a little stretches northward. Impatient with this Four one. Four-story buildings as far as the rain can fall. The snows melt in Jamrock. Revachon is the capital of the world. Jamrock is the capital of Drop its home. Your eyelashes. Oh. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood. Have a brother in the cut. Where the hood at? Why to be in Martinez, where no one goes, at the runoff point of a long forgotten canal, in the whitest part of town, in the shadow of the day the revolution fell, standing in the rain, looking north, with, in the rain swept distance above the rooftops of Jamrock, a repurposed silk mill stands perched. Above the motorway exit, pre satellite officer Jean Vichmer rushes down the precinct stairs, umbrella. On the bridge, officers Torson and McLean are standing guard. Torson wears jeans and a fishnet wife. Where's your homo, homie? What? It's not like that. They're what is called heterosexual life partners. They have a battle-tested relationship. A, a blood bond, if you will. Huh? Yeah. Hetero. Sexual. Life. Partners. Funny apery. May-centric workplace humor. Have you seen him? Is there something wrong? No, nothing. It's just... Should he went to his place and found the Monday mail and opened? I think he's still there. You didn't like. Drink with him over the weekend, did That would be irresponsible. With that animal? Never again, man. What is he, still down there? In, you know, south of the interchange? The... In Martinez. He's in Martinez. Your vision blurs. You wipe your face with your hand. The rain stings your eyes, making you look up and blink. What Coalition hero statics hang like apparitions under the cloud cover. Way up there, this rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. So let's talk to the guy and ask him why 
He's got a dead guy's clothes in there. Oh yeah, it's if it's 5 a.m., you should you guys should get some sleep. Uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm actually probably gonna call it soon anyway, because uh, I'm starting to get a little tired myself. But thank you for stopping by. Can I hang out? You? I've seen something here at the Whirling. What thing? Thank you. Yes. Have not a good the whole damn union, morning I sleep. I guess Just it would be at this point. And loudest faction. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit, but they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So Thank he's you. directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. I don't. I'm simply providing a service, or really facilitating the offering of services to paying customers, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to explain myself to you. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Who else the has the trash keys? collection service? CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of the- On Clinton Street, near the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck rattles down an alleyway. It stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container, despondently. CSM is written on their back street. Thank you anyway. Maybe you don't remember putting I think in fugue states are more your forte, officer. Yes. See you, dude. Okay, well they said there would be a place where we could get a raincoat somewhere to the east here. Is this it?
Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine you mean are this? You reading? This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. I approve of she this. She pops her raspberry flavored. The lieutenant frowns at you before turning to the clerk with an apologetic half smile. I don't know. Frit? Why is it written I think with three they T's? think that the extra T makes it funkier. It doesn't. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... She looks moment? up from her magazine, eyes filled with tired ennui. Yes, what we have is there, in the medicine cabinet. Go take a look yourself. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. Uh, sounds like we're not gonna uh -huh. get anything useful. Reality? You mean, what reality? I don't really know anything. I mean, I'm 15. 15 is an excellent time to yeah, learn about the economic that's reality. why I'm working my ass off in Frit. So I guess, like, that deep. I don't know. What about it? Our government? Or do you mean something else? Sorry, I really need to finish this article. What is when language? ordinary people take over the government and... Yeah, it happened like 50 years ago or so. Sorry. Cool. Okay, so can I... The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says... One bottle equal. What hmm? is this machine? Oh, that's the tear machine. Yes, but what it's is it? A machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine. You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some. Okay, like where's the. A medicine. small cabinet on there the wall go. is filled. Um, just ask me if you need anything from St. Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Okay. So we need a dollar to be able to buy anything here. Is there like a raincoat or something? You see several packaged raincoats filled. What's that? What is what? If you want to buy one, then it's only for Raya. Fortunately, I have no money. Okay. So. Oh, wow. Look at the time. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Missing, Missing Crusader and PlastCop666 for the follows. Uh, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time uh, until around 10 p.m. Uh, as you can tell, sometimes I go a little later. Uh, here, let me go ahead and save. I'll do a new save just in case. Uh, I had I had fun with this one, so I will probably play this on Mondays from now on, and tune in Wednesday for Persona, Persona Three. We're making progress. Uh, and yeah, talk to you on Wednesday.